some pretty uh, bad problems in that area. So uh, looking ahead through the weekend, so you can see all of this rain in the south and also the transition from rain to snow. And in these areas where they don't necessarily get a whole lot of snow, when the rain comes through and then the temperatures freeze over, that creates some pretty uh, rough situations on the roads there. So their storms don't necessarily look like ours in terms of severe weather, but it is still kind of a uh, problem for them. Now, while that's all going on in the south, we're going to have clear weather this weekend. A couple of clouds rolling in over the weekend, but it's not going to be snowy. That next chance of snow is going to come mid next week. So you can see the little bit of snow on Tuesday in the mountains and then Wednesday, a little bit more widespread for Wednesday in terms of snowfall. So so it is still winter here. We are going to get some more wintry weather, although it still feels like winter, even though we're not getting any snow. It's just going to be sunny here for the next couple of days. That change won't come until mid next week. And we're actually looking at some slightly warmer temperatures for Saturday and Sunday. But for today, still a chilly day, similar to yesterday with those temperatures. If they get above freezing, it's only going to be by a couple of degrees. High 30s for the highest of the highs in north central Montana, but you can still see some teens on there for the highs this afternoon. It's looking like 20s and 30s for the most part here in Montana for today, but we are going to warm up slightly for Saturday and Sunday. So those temperatures creeping up by a few degrees for the weekend and then Monday is going to be pretty nice day ahead of those changes coming in the middle of next week. So we do have a couple more cold days ahead of us, but the sunshine is nice. Um, heading into the weekend. Sometimes it always feels like they, uh, the snow comes on Saturday and Sunday and then it clears up for Monday, but we are getting that sunny weather for the weekend. And don't worry, all you big fans of skiing, we are going to get some more snow later in next week. So next weekend, maybe. That's good news. Yeah, yeah you get a little bit of everything. Yes. All right, Katie, thank you. Well, if you hear more about Montana's tourism economy in the coming year, it's likely because of the spark that was ignited this week in Whitefish. The new energy comes from a powerful gathering of hundreds of people at the state's first ever Business of, business of Outdoor Recreation Summit. MTN's Dennis Bragg was there and has the details. Organizers of the summit at Grouse Mountain Lodge dove deep into the topic of Montana's outdoor economy during the two days of panel presentations and informal discussions. Speakers touched on using partnerships to develop the state's recreation industry, the impacts of policy development, attracting public and private funds, and convincing local government of the economic impacts of recreation. Such amazing positivity and talking about problems and brainstorming solutions. And this is like where it happens. This is where people are talking. And this is just the beginning of the conversation. I mean, these are the stewards of the conversation. The people that are here are going to take it out and start talking with community members, fellow business people, fellow land managers. So this is really just the beginning. With the public lands issue on the front burner in the Big Sky this year, a lot of the conversations were around how best to utilize one of Montana's strongest recreation industry resources. And the conference was highlighting the diversity of not just managers, but user groups who enjoy Montana's outdoors in multiple ways. 